Well, just a few hours ago, the third suspect in the East Valley High School threats appeared in court. This afternoon, we got copies of newly filed court documents that detail the threats that police say were made in a group chat that caused the entire district to close for that day. We have decided not to identify the student, though, because this is still an ongoing investigation. Crem 2's Amanda Rowley was in the courtroom for his appearance, though, today. She's joining us now live from the county courthouse with details from those documents. Amanda. The East Valley High School student who was in court this afternoon turned himself in yesterday. He was out of town when the threats were reported. Now his parents were in the courtroom this afternoon pleading for his case. Newly filed court documents reveal more details about the threats that canceled all East Valley schools for the day. Documents say an East Valley student got added to a group chat on Snapchat, which included several other students. That student reported the chat when the discussion involved threats against LGBTQ plus students. After reviewing the messages, detectives arrested two juvenile students, specifically for their comments of violent acts and the photos of themselves holding pistols. During a search of the two juvenile students' homes, investigators located a variety of pistols, shotguns, and pistol airsoft guns. The third student suspect who appeared in court today admitted to his involvement in the chat. He told investigators he posted a photo of his hand holding an airsoft pistol as a joke. He also claimed he tried to keep the group's plans from becoming violent. His father spoke on his behalf in court this afternoon. We've also decided to not identify him either. My son's a good kid. He's never been in trouble, ever. I don't know what to say. I'm disappointed in him for, you know, involving himself in a conversation. But he never said he's threatening anybody. He's not, none of this stuff was found in my house. There was nothing, you know, incriminating at all, sir, Your Honor. I just, please, I need my son back. The public defender challenged the probable cause for the threats to bomb or injure property charge. He argued the student made no statements threatening the school building itself, but the judge ruled otherwise and set the student's bond at $100,000. Now, all three East Valley students who were arrested have been expelled. And today I also spoke with the Spokane County Sheriff's Office and they say the student who reported these threats did the right thing. They say this allowed law enforcement to act and prevent any harm. Reporting from the Spokane County Courthouse, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.